today I have a perfect candidate for some vintage toy freedom. This is the G.I. Joe Sonic Fighters Lampreys, uh, or I guess you call it Lampreys version 2. The original Lampreys, or Lamprey, that one came singular, came with the Cobra uh, Moray Hydrofoil. It was blue and silver and came with a, a silver gun that had a, a strap on it and uh, kind of a, I don't even know if it was a handle, but a thing on the side that, that breaks very easily if anybody owns that or has owned one. I've definitely owned a broken one. Anyway, so this was the, the second version of it as part of the, the Sonic Fighters line, not to be confused with the Super Sonic Fighters, which came out the year after. So these are from 1990. The Super Sonic Fighters came out in 91. So uh, these are the backpacks that, that made noises. Actually, when I, when I first got this the other day and I pushed the button, it, it, made, it went and that was it. But uh, those batteries are pretty easy to replace. I mentioned this is a great candidate. Obviously, you can see somebody, they didn't cut out the user PC in Flagpoint. They just ripped it out. I guess they didn't have scissors. Uh, kind of an unfortunate thing because I kind of messed up the file card there. But um, again, a good candidate. It, it, it's got that. It you know it doesn't really display well. It's not going to fit in a case or on a shelf well because of that. Also, I kind of noticed, um, I was kind of inspecting it. You can see there's a... Uh, the bubbles lifting at the bottom so so great candidate it's got sticker residue you know it's creased it looks like maybe somebody folded it at some point to to store it so really good candidate to to open it got it for a good price you know figures mint it's got um a couple different guns it's actually the the night force shockwave gun um that's the night force muskrat gun and you see one of the battle force 2000 uh, i think that's um uh, might be Naga Hyde's gun, and then he's got his, his backpack. So, you know, I mean, if, if this was loose, I mean, I'd, I'd pay five dollars for a mint one, you know, two or three bucks for that, a buck for each one of those. We got nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, you know, the file card. And actually, there's kind of a, a cool secret in there, I'll show you here in a minute. So, yeah, I got this for about what a loose mint complete one would cost. So, here we go, Lampreys version 2, the Amphibious Assault Trooper, uh, which if he's amphib amphibious, uh, an electronic backpack is probably not the best idea, but oh well. So, here's Lampreys, a cool figure, I like, I like the repaint on him. These ones had a green file card, it was kind of, this is when they started actually having different colors, the Supersonic Fighters had the... Uh, kind of pinkish orange. Um, so this is an insert attack of the swamp creature. Nothing, nothing too terribly exciting in, in that insert. But one thing that's cool in here, try to get out there from one hand. It came with a magnet. It came with one of the, the GI Joe magnets. I actually have one of these on my fridge, but that's pretty cool. A little. A little fun joke there. I think they made four of these total. So, um, so that's in there. This has a some kind of thing where you can win a triple combat pay. There's no actual combat pay in there, which is interesting. You get the, the a basketball hoop or a, a boom box. That GI Joe duffel bag is actually a really cool uh, phone different stuff like that. I like the shoelaces too in the sports bottle. So, um, you know, use your combat pay. Anywho. So here we have Lampreys. He is free from his prison of 26 years. weapons out and again you know some people are very particular about you know this not being the uh, night force night for spirit sorry uh, or night for shockwave i don't know i have a complete one anyway uh you know i mean it's it's the same thing same plastic you can't really tell the difference um some of them you can you know if it came out at later line kind of later 90s early 2000s but you know, for this one, you can't tell. But if I were to sell that, knowing 
obviously that I opened from this, and now we have video proof of that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell that as his, his weapon. But again, some people care, some people don't. And you have the backpack. Batteries are dead. But like I said, when I first got this the other day, it did, it did make a noise. There are instructions on there. And if you have any of these, the supersonic fighters, the sonic fighters, or the uh, talking battle commandos, they take four of those little uh, circular kind of watch batteries. Do not buy those at the store. Do not um, pay ridiculous prices. You can get those on eBay for really, really cheap. You can get you know, big packs of them for, with free shipping. So I have, I think I actually have some downstairs. So... Um, so there's Lampreys version 2. Um, technically, he has a different name than the version 1 because the version 1 was just called Lamprey. Uh, no no figure stand. That's kind of interesting. But uh, one thing, too, about these guys, they are hard to hard to stand up because they have such a humongous backpack. So I usually just like to kind of sit it next to them, which I think is, is kind of part of the point. So, uh, so there's Lampreys, and um, I'm going to try to salvage that file card as best as I can but it's it's got the tear on there so another vintage toy that now has its freedom and I can uh, have a mint complete figure and I will see you next time yo Joe